So the latest leaks and spoilers of regular Ragnarok is finally here. And this spoilers is actually focusing on round 10. So whatever happened between Beelzebub, Buddha, and Odin, we won't see what's happening in this upcoming chapter because we're focusing on the beginning fight between Susano versus Okita. And we get to see their interest as they're entering the arena. And the arena is a replica of a city of Kyoto during the Edo period. So later on in the spoilers, it indicated that Sisuno is the one who actually requested the stage to, to be designed by the Edo period of Kyoto. And this is just having everyone curious on why is the reason because he is a Japanese god and they don't think Sisuno has any particular connection to Kyoto at the Edo period. It seems as if even the atmosphere of the city of Kyoto at that time has been recreated and Susano has inhaled the atmosphere deeply and it seems that he's even more excited. So we get the first introduction of Susano and then we get the introduction of Okita. And Susano later explained the real reason why he actually had the stage to be Kyoto was because during that time, four of the members of the Shimigumi actually went into battle with a group of bandits and a group of like other game members or whatever. And they actually destroyed them and beat them, only four of them. So they're very outnumbered. So Susano, as a god, he wants to replica the area and including the atmosphere like the air and everything else to be on that time that happened and later down the line susano actually revealed why he wants to fight against okita and it's because okita is the best swordsman and so of course susano he's known as the god as the greatest swordsman so he just want to fight humanity's greatest swordsman and of course he is a huge fan of okita because he also knows and mastered his sword technique fighting style so okita finally entered into the arena and he does not want to fight against susano because susano is a huge fan of okita and that just turns off okita because he does not want to fight him okita is bloodthirsty when he fights against his enemies and he wants his enemies to like have like this hatred this kind of style like i want to destroy you like i'm a bad guy i'm evil but Susano is saying like, look, I'm a big fan of your work. I'm a big fan of your fighting style and I really want to fight you. And Okita's just like, no, no, I, I, I don't I don't feel like that. So Okita, he's just like, you know what? I'm just don't want to fight you. But Susano is just like, no, I'm going to make you want to fight me. And he tried to motivate Okita to actually go on ahead and draw his blade. So we also get one page on this Shimigumi and how they're all here. The first division of this Shimigumi here to represent and cheer on Okita as he battling against Sisuno. And you can just see the size difference between because Sisuno is like giant and Okita is just like this small dwarf. And of course, we get Susano's like backstory and everything else. And I know Okita, he had like this spinoff, like Record of Ragnarok, they had like a spinoff of like Okita's backstory or part of his backstory. So yeah, so that's just pretty much what happened. So that's what's just pretty much what's going on in this latest spoilers for the upcoming chapter of Record of Ragnarok. That round 10 is finally begin the battle between Okita and Susano, we figure out that why Susano he wants to fight against Okita and why he changed the whole arena into the whole Kyoto Edo period. And so it's just very, very interesting that Susano is a huge fangirl for Okita. But let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this latest leaks and spoilers of Wrecking the Ragnarok. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys do like the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. And remember, always be decent. It's the Monster Man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here. Peace.